Hello, and thank you for tuning back into another Red Robe Talk. Today, I want to talk about a topic that's been on the La Peak Fest Talk show. Um, I don't know if you watch it, it's a YouTube show. But anyway, they were saying, are men entitled to the woman's box? That's what they was calling it, the box. You know what that is? The woman's private part. Because he takes her, I guess, out on a date or whatever. And to that, I will say no. Because on a date, we're getting to know each other. That's what we're on a date for. Dating is for data. So I will say no to that. Now, if he's married, yes, he's entitled. Because the Bible even says the one man's body is the husband's as well as the woman is entitled because the Bible says the man's body is the wife's. So I would agree there that yes, the man's body, I mean the woman's body, you know, she should be. She should be. She's married. You didn't she didn't go into that marriage to be told, you know, that when she get mad, that's not what you do. That's not right. Same thing with the man. The man shouldn't do that when he gets mad. It's not right. Because that's the glue to your your marriage. That's what holds, what pulls you back in. See, that's why a lot of relationships that people in, they don't like each other. So they really don't like each other. And when they have sex, the sex pulls them in. And it's like that connection, but they don't like each other. So once they finish that act, it's like, ugh, back to the arguing or whatever again, because they don't really like each other. So I would say that, like I said, no in dating, no. And, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to go on a date with a man that thinks that that's what I should be giving him when I go on a date. We're getting to know each other. We're talking to each other. We, you know, and I get it. Some men say, "Well, we're spending three and five hundred dollars or more on these dates." Where there again, if that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But if that's what she's saying she need from you, then I would say you're being played because that woman probably ain't taking her own self on. Three hundred, five hundred dollar dinner dates, but when she somebody asks on a date, she can make them, you know, sell out that much money. No, you're being used, you're being played. But there again, if you think that you can get the box from that, and then she don't give it to you, and you're mad, you shouldn't be mad at her. You should be mad at yourself, and take it as a lesson so you don't get played like that no more by her or another female because you shouldn't you shouldn't think that if you're taking a woman on a date it's like you're saying I like you I want to get to know you that's what it should be about but I get it it's 2022 a lot of people just want to take people on dates so they can try to you know hit it and quit it and it's not right but that's the way the world has sort of turned now. And we need to get it back right because that's not right. You shouldn't feel entitled to that part of that woman for taking her out on a date. Like I said, even if you spent a thousand dollars, even if you flew her in, as people were saying, you know, you shouldn't be. She's not entitled to do that. You shouldn't be looking for that. First off, you shouldn't even want that right now. You should want to know that this woman is respectful because guess what? If she fly in or you fly her in and, you know, even if you don't fly her in, if she just does that on the first night, like, now your mind probably thinking, how many other people have she done this with? So you want somebody respectful. It's like now everything is just revolving around that urge, that feeling and lust. And that's what's wrong. It's a bunch of lust running around. And the Bible speaks of that. The lust of the eyes. The lust of the flesh. 
You know, you, you got to control those things. Those things are getting ridiculous. It's getting so ridiculous that people are saying, you know, if you're not doing that, I don't want to be with you. And, you know, yes, women, I'm, you know, the wives or whatever, no, you shouldn't withhold it from your husband. You know, if you're in a committed relationship, you shouldn't withhold it from your boyfriend. You shouldn't because you're in that committed relationship. You're saying you're in a relationship, and that's what it entails if that's what y'all are doing. Now, if y'all saying we ain't having sex to marriage, then that's fine. Then that's what y'all doing. But a lot of people are in relationships, relationships and they're having sex before marriage. So they already committed to that. So now when you get mad or whatever, you want to pull that away. That's not right. But whenever you don't get your way, you want to pull that away. Ladies, that's not right. So if you're in, like I said, a, a civil union, a committed relationship, a marriage, Something that is just y'all, you know, y'all two, y'all know y'all together, and y'all already engaged in the act, then no, you shouldn't be withholding it. You shouldn't be, and the man should be entitled to get it when he's ready to get it. And I don't care what women are saying about it, they should be, because y'all made that commitment, that's part of the commitment. That's just it. Whether you're married or not, y'all did that already. Y'all already decided to do that. You already made that commitment. Just y'all too. Not, a, not you know, y'all too and another, you know. But if that's y'all thing, if y'all into that too, then y'all made that commitment with each other to do that too. But just y'all in that that area, you know, that situation, not bringing somebody else in and didn't want to throw it at now because y'all done made that commitment. But... I just think, well, I, I I really think, like, yeah, there's so much lust running around, like, it's uncontrollable. And lust was never supposed to be like that. It was never supposed to get to the point where it's uncontrollable. You were supposed to reel it back in, you know, so it don't get like that. But a lot of people are living in lust. They just want what they want right now for the moment. That's lust. And they want it right now. And they don't care about it after. And that's not the way it's supposed to be. Just sex somebody and discard them right after or something. Like, no. You know? But if y'all men are giving these women and taking them on these expensive dates, expecting something, then don't do that. Because you shouldn't be. You should just be expecting to go eat that dinner like you're supposed to or wherever you're going for the day and then take them back home. Or if they drove themselves, they go back home. If they decide to do something like that, then that's on them. But you shouldn't feel like you're entitled to get that because you spent money. You know, that's crazy. And I get it. You're like, well, I spent all this money. True. But even when men back in the day wanted to court women, they had to spend money to take that woman on a date, whether it was to the movies, you know, to den wherever it was, they spent some money to take out on a date. Now, was it three to $500? No. Nah. But it might have been their whole paycheck for that week. You know, who knows? It was that money that they had. It could have been a a large sum of money they're thinking about to themselves, you know, that they just, you know, feel like it's a lot of money. But they did that because they was interested in that woman. They wanted to get to know that woman. They wanted to see if something could go further with that woman. Today, men are doing it to just get that act and then leave. Men, I don't care what nobody says. When you just doing that act with any and everybody, anybody and everybody that you can, you don't love yourself. You can't love yourself because you're not taking care of your vessel. You're not taking care of your body, that one body that you, that one vessel you have. That's why a lot of men on Viagra at a young age. These, you, won't, you don't need that stuff at no young age, but why are they doing it? 
They want to please the woman more. They want to have a longer experience. Or either some of them that had so much, you know, been in that act and doing that act so much that now it just won't, it won't come up no more. It won't get right like that. And that's because you, you abuse that, you abuse that part of your body. So you have to take care of this vessel. That's part of your vessel. And you abuse that part. That's why it don't want to function no more. You're trying to have sex with a different, well, you know, every night, every night, every night, every night, a different person. Or you're trying to, you know, every night, every night. No, it wasn't meant to to do that. It, it wasn't meant to do that. You know, you, you, and, and that, that, that part that it's a lot that comes with that. You're giving yourself away to all these women. You're giving yourself to all these different women. Yeah, you are. They taking your energy. They taking your life force. Mm -hmm. They are. Because you want to, you want to, you know, do that act with everybody. No. And I know the world look at it like where women do it. They disrespecting their bodies. Men are too. Yes, men are too. You, that's wrong. You don't do that. You don't do that. That's for when you don't know this new person. You mean you don't know who they've been with, what they done done in their life, and you just, the time you see them, you, you're in the bed with them, or you engaging in that act with them. You don't even know them. You don't know what they was doing the other night. Some people engage in animals. Some people engage in the same sex. You know, some people engage in a lot of things. And you don't know if they did or not because you just met them or you just getting to know. You don't know. So, yeah, don't, yeah, don't do that. I get a lot of men doing it and a lot of men teaching the younger ones to do it. But that's that's not, you know, your body wasn't meant for that. It's a temple. Treat it as that. Treat it as if it is that. So, like I said, you know, I do not feel like a man should be thinking he's going to get, you know, that because he took you out on a date. And I don't care if, like, they, you know, people saying, well, you did it with this man, you did it with, you might have liked him, you know, more or whatever. Or you might have realized, you know, the female could have realized, like, that was something I shouldn't have did. And she might have learned that lesson, you know, because she might have went too fast with him and realized, you know, it could be more than one him because it takes, sometimes it takes doing something over and over before you learn that lesson. So... Yeah, so don't look at it like, well, you know, she did it, but then why she won't do it? She just don't want to. And if you don't want to be played, men, stop allowing them to play you. You're going on to dates and paying three and $500, and she probably ain't even doing it for herself, so why get on a date and say, yeah, he won't take me on a date, he going to take me to the most expensive place somewhere, he going to take me. No, you love yourself. You're going to do stuff for yourself first. And then somebody could come in and do that same thing. But if you already ain't treating yourself that way, then somebody coming in and you trying to make them do something you wouldn't do. That's not right. So once again, I feel that men, you shouldn't think you're entitled to that. It's not, no, it's a date. It's a date because you want to get to know that person. You want data about that person. You're interested in that person for more than just that act. Of course, if you dating somebody or if you go on a date, you like somebody, of course, at some point, you would like to engage in that act because you already like them to that point. That's why you ask them on a date. But just don't be thinking you're entitled to it and if she don't give it to you. Then you mad and telling everybody you curse how or whatever the case may be. That's not right because you're not entitled to that. Okay? <laughs> so I thank you all for joining my channel today. I thank you for listening, for subscribing, 
for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for just spending some time with me. And remember, you all stay blessed because you are blessed.